So I went to the hospital today and was talking to a friend of mine. He's been in the hospital for the last couple of days going through some uh, pretty serious health challenges. And uh, we began to talk about, uh, you know, his state of mind. And one of the things that he said to me is he found himself in a very peaceful place because he's really learned that there are many things that are out of his control. And over the years, he's learned what things he can control and what things he cannot control. And so that's a great lesson for all of us today that, uh, you know, a lot of our anxiety in life comes from stressing over things that really are beyond our control, circumstances that uh, we don't affect the outcome. Uh, we just have to respond to whatever those circumstances are. Or uh, as they would say in poker, you have to play the hand that you've been dealt. And uh, you don't get to choose which cards those are. Uh, you just have to play what you've been dealt. And so one of the things that uh, I think is critical is that we learn to hold everything in an open hand. Um, that's a lesson that uh, I've been learning all through my lifetime. I would love to say that I've mastered it. I'm sure I have not. Uh, but there have been many times where I have been brought to a place that all I could do was hold everything in the outstretched open hand and say, okay, God, here it is. If you want to take it, it's yours. If you want to leave it, it's yours. It's not mine to hang on to. It's not mine to control. Uh, it is yours and yours alone. Now, with that comes really a sense of peace that all I can do is focus on what's in front of me at this very moment. The next moment is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. Next week is not promised. Next year is not promised. And I can't do anything to change what's in the past. All I can do is live in the moment. And uh, one of the verses that has guided me for many years, uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. And I have found that to be so true. I do not always know where the journey is taking me. I do not always know what the next step is, but I do know that I can trust. I can trust him to reveal what that next step is when it is time to take that next step. And I have seen that happen over and over again. And because I have seen God's faithfulness through the years with those steps, that's what gives me the confidence to hold things open-handed. I don't know what the outcomes are going to be tomorrow. I don't know where this path goes. What I do know is that uh, there is somebody guiding me who knows the entire journey, who has seen my life mapped out since the day I took my first breath, and they know when I will take my last. And that is the confidence of walking with God. That is the peace of walking with God is knowing those things. Just a few thoughts for you today that uh, if you're struggling with some anxiety over things you can't control, maybe it's time just to simply open your hands and admit that those things are beyond your control and ask God to guide your footsteps and trust him to do just that, to use your circumstances, to use people in your life, and to guide you safely through. The truth is that no matter what you're going through today, in the end, it is going to be used uh, for purposes that you can't see today, but purposes that will become very clear to you in the days ahead. Hope you have a good weekend.